YouTube channel if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel like comment and subscribe in today's video I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get this red ombre soft glam wing liner look honey it's giving everything it's supposed to give it's giving dinner with the bay it's giving prom it's giving I just want to get cute it's giving birthday it's giving all of that so if you want to know how to get this look then keep on watching hey y'all so i'm gonna start off with just bullying my brows i'm filling them in with a light brown to medium brown brow pencil i don't really like my brows to be that dark and i only feel in the tails of it to keep it really natural and then i'm gonna go in with my la girl pro concealer this is literally my favorite concealer and this is the color fun if i do forget to mention any products that i'm using it will definitely be listed in the description box so now after i do the bottom portion of my brows i want to go ahead and carve out the top and bring it to a point at the tail and I'm just using a small flat brush to do this. Moving on to the eyelids, I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I'm blending out my concealer on my eyelids and around my brows. Now I'm gonna take my foundation. This is Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color 355. This is literally my favorite drugstore foundation. It's so good for everyday wear. It's very buildable and you can make it natural as well. Just making sure I got everything blended out. And you'll know when you're done blending when everything is all one even layer. Next, moving on to that same concealer that I used to sculpt the bottom portion of my brows. That is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. I'm gonna put that underneath both of my eyes in a like triangular shape. And then I'm gonna put it down the bridge of my nose as well as the forehead as well as the chin and the cupid's bow. And I like to go in with a cool little layer of matte setting spray. It just helps to blend everything out and I just feel like it gives it a better finish. So now I'm just using the pointy side of my beauty sponge. This is a Real Technique sponge. And I'm going to use that to blend out everywhere that I apply the concealer. And when you're blending out your concealer, you want to make sure you hit the edges of the concealer first to get that flawless blend and then work your way towards the center of the face. I also blend under the eyes last to give the product some time to dry down and it gives it a little bit more coverage. Now I'm switching to my powder puff just to get into the corners of my eyes because the inner corner of my eyes are a little deeper so it's easier to get in those corners with the beauty puff And I'm going to use that leftover product that is on the Beauty Puff to just drag that onto my eyelids again and give it another blend. Now I'm going in with my contour. This is a NYX foundation mixed with my actual color foundation. Just so it won't be too dark, this is Deep Ebony by NYX as well as Maybelline 355. 
Now I'm just gonna blend out the sides of my nose. And after I have everything to one even layer, I like to bring those lines closer together for an even better snatch. And I'm going in with that puff again just to blend out those lines. Now I'm going to use the same, same beauty blender that I use for my foundation to blend out my contour. The sponge still has a little bit of leftover foundation on it so it helps blend out your contour. Boom. So now we're going in with that Laura Mercier setting powder and our powder puff, beauty puff, and we're just gonna press that all in before we bake. And we're putting this setting powder everywhere that we put concealer. Now we're getting ready to sculpt the face using the setting powder by Laura Mercier and our Beauty Puff. So we're just setting everywhere we put concealer again. This makes your makeup last so long if you press your powder in first and then bake. It has it lasting all night, all day. <laughs> we're also gonna reverse contour. So what I did there was simply just go under your contour and sculpt it out. And we're taking our face powder in our foundation shade and we're putting that in between all of the highlighted areas. Now we're going in with our blush. If you know me, I am a blush girly. I love blush. And I believe this is a Nika K blush, but if I do get some of the products incorrect it'll definitely be in the description box so now we're going to our morphe palette and we're going to get started on our eyes this is a dark brown shade by morphe you want to put that in your crease and blow those edges out Now I'm going in with that shade, that brick shade color, and I'm going to use that on the edges of that dark brown. I'm also using the same brush to do this. Now I'm going to take that orangey shade and I'm going to use that to soften up the edges of that brick color we just put down. And now for that soft glam look, we're going to take this powdery white type of shade it's got a nude it's kind of white and we're going to put that right in the center of our eyelids now we're going in to do our eyeliner i'm just winging that out
And I like to really take my time with my eyeliner because I love that sharp gleam. I'm also going to add a point on my inner corners as well. Now we're taking our jumbo black pencil. This is by L'Oreal. And we're going to tight line our waterline. And now I'm taking that brick shade one more time and I'm going to use that for my under eye eyeshadow. And now we're just dusting off all of that Laura Mercier setting powder. And now we're going in with mascara just to get our lashes back black because they do have a little bit of powder and eyeshadow on them. And this is my favorite glue for lashes, period. You want to put it on your eyelid first. The dry down is so quick and your lashes literally stick like magnets. This also helps prevent your eyes from getting watery if you do get watery eyes. Like literally look how easy the lash sticks it's like a magnet it's like locked in if you put it on your lids first so now I'm taking night moth by Meg and I'm getting ready to ombre this red so when you ombre you definitely want the darker shade on the outside so I'm just gonna line this around the edges and then I'm gonna start pulling it towards the center Now I'm taking my liquid lipstick. This is Feel So Grand by MAC Cosmetics. And we're gonna plop that right in the middle and get it blended out towards the edges. I'm taking that same blush that I used earlier and I'm gonna plop that right in the center. This just gives it an even more matte finish as well as a better ombre. And then of course, we're gonna go in with our bottom mascara. Those finishing details matter so much. I did about three layers of mascara. This is Maybelline's mascara. you guys that is the end of this video i thank you so much for watching i hope you all made it to the end of the video i hope you learned something from this because i love helping girls learn how to do their makeup like again don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel show this video some love show my other videos some love and i'll see y'all next time mm -hmm.